Shalom, shalom. Giving all praises to the Most High, to His Son, Yahweh Shai. Uh, a lot of times we read verses, but we read them not in context. Um, today's class, Yahweh Shai came not to send peace, but a sword. A lot of people's understanding that is going into destruction, but that is going into us waking up as a nation. And the most powerful sword in his ushers are this Bible, the word that we go out and we teach each and every week. A lot of times, uh, a lot of folks don't understand what we're doing, but in time they will. Um, this is our job to go out, and, and we know our people doesn't don't like it, but hey, uh, America is just one big Disneyland to our peoples. They can go shopping, they can go to the strip club, they can go, they can go be a menace anywhere they want to go be, and they happy doing it. But when that other sword come down, that famine, that hunger, that thirst, then they gonna understand what we was truly seeing because right now they have no idea what is going on they truly believe in their lives that has been tired so we're going to start out in matthews uh y'all bear with me today uh matthews 10 we're going to start at verse 26 the book of saint matthews chapter 10 verse 26 Fear them not, therefore. And say, fear them not, therefore. Because a lot of things that you see Esau, he's, he, he don't think he's not plotting and planning to, you know, to scare our people. Read on. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed. There is nothing covered. There is nothing hid that shall not be revealed. When we're revealing the truth, our people hate us for it. When we telling them it's nothing but transgenders on TVs and stuff like this nature that's been going on for centuries, you know why they hate us? Because they got that person in their mind as an idol. You should not have none of Babylon's idols in your mind. So the truth is not going to be hid. Read on. And hid that shall not be known. See, everything that they have hidden from y'all is going to be revealed to y'all. That's the blessing from the Most High and the Son, Yahweh Shai. Let's go to Isaiah 41 and 10. And, and the thing is, you should want to know the truth. You think about how many people have gone to their grave not knowing anything but what their pastor have told them, what they learned on their television, and what they learned in them lying schools. They have never known the truth. And that's the biggest crime on the planet. Read uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with you. See, when y'all understand, when you're keeping the commandments, the most high with you. When you're walking around here, got uh, animosity towards your brother and sister, we're not dealing with you, man. I'm going to tell you something. You better get yourself in the right spirit because a lot of you won't make it. And my job, I, it's, you know, they, they think it's, it's, it's not hard for me to tell you. Because if I love you, I tell you. Because if I don't, I'll be just like the world out right there. Read. Be not dismayed. Don't be dismayed, man, at none of the things that's going on, how Israel is growing, how you seeing us, the work that's going on. Look at us, man. Look at us. We come from being niggas, man, to being Israelites. Raised up in the mind to be who we are. Read. For I am thy God. He is, he is our God. Read. I will strengthen thee. How do you think he strengthened us with knowledge, man? That's how you being strengthened. Read. Yea, I will help thee. He's the one. Let me tell you something. When y'all look, let me tell you something. A lot of times people, they get mad at me. But they should. It's not me that's bringing. A lot of times people think I should fix their situation. I can't do nothing for you. You have to get yourself right with the power, man. He's the only one. He's the only way. Well, see, they get mad and they think, and, and just look, just how the most high bless us, man. All we got to do is continue keeping the commandments. He's going to bring us through all these trials and tribulations. Read on. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. He's the one upholding us, man. I don't understand. When you're going through something, you're going through that because of who you, what you're doing. 
examine self daily. Some of us, we examine. See, in America, we have taught to examine others. That's why we have Facebook, so we can be nosy. We can see what somebody else is going through. So we can go back and talk about them. But we're not worrying about that our electric bill ain't being paid. See, we're too busy to examine everybody else, and we should be taking care of our own household. Read on. Behold, all day that were incensed against thee, very angry. These other nations, they thrive off us. You know, when I'm telling sisters to stay out of them house, I'm telling sister brothers to get they self right, get their house right. These peoples are incensed against us. They very, they enraged, man, that now that we, you see, they see you walking around with your friends and so on, you might not put a mirror, a real view mirror and see the ugly looks you get, man. A lot of y'all don't see it because you ain't paying attention to it. We don't. Shall be ashamed and confounded. They're going to be, they ashamed, man, because they're trying to figure out what, what's going on. Read on. They shall be as nothing. They are, they shall be as nothing, man. Read. And they that strive with thee shall perish. And anybody that's fighting against us, even in this truth, they're going to die, man. Most hearts in the sun not playing. We we under his authority here to do this work. Read on. Thou shalt seek them. Read on. And thou shalt not find them. Even them that contended with thee. Anybody that's coming after us, we don't. That's why I tell you, I say fear not. I know some of y'all feel for some of us up here, but go home and go to sleep, man. Mm -hmm. We're not worrying about a thing. See, when you got, look, listen, if we, we, if we had to worry about you, you'd be sleep on the job. <laughs> See, we know the power ain't going to go to sleep on us. Read on. They that war against thee shall be as nothing. They as nothing, man. They can't stop this truth. This truth is like a, a bowler coming down the hill. Anybody get in the way, get smashed. Read on. And as a thing of not. As somebody that forgot what, who they were. Read on. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand. Read. Saying unto thee, fear not, I will help thee. He's the one helping us, man. Some of y'all can't see the blessing. Some of y'all too busy got issues with yourself. It's all about self when it comes to this, this word. It's supposed to be about nation. When you're not giving it up for your nation, then you're not uh, you, you, you're about self. This is all about his movement, the truth, the nation coming back together. We building as one. But, you know, some people, they're not in their spirit. But read on. Fear not. <laughs> thou worm Jacob. See, that worm Jacob. Jacob is that worm. Is, what do a worm do? It devours stuff, man. Y'all don't understand. A worm will devour things. That's what he's comparing us to read. And ye men of Israel. Ye, and he calling the men. Some of these brothers in this truth ain't there yet, man. Some of them still mama boys. When you step up and be a man, everything in your house and your walk will be with the most high. Read. I will help thee. Read on. Saith the Lord. And thy redeemer, the holy one of Israel. The redeemer. Read on. Behold. I will make thee a new sharp. He was going to make us a new sharp. Read. Threshing instrument having teeth. That's knowledge, man. Read on. Thou shalt thresh the mountains. That, what, what are we doing? We are we going against the, the greatest kingdom on the planet, man. We we bringing it down. Read on. And beat them small. And we're going to beat them small out there on them streets because they don't, they just see a few of us right now. After a while, they're going to see the blocks around it. It's going to be so many Israelites out there. Read on. It shall make the hills as chaff. As make the hills as staff. As what? As chaff. As chaff. We're going to make it like trash around here, man. And that's what you're seeing here happening here in America. A lot of y'all don't see it because you're not paying attention to it. Your, your rims need to be cleaned up or, <laughs> you know, you got to get to the makeup shop or do whatever you do. Matthew 10 and 27. I'm here just to tell you that there is no fear, man. There is no fear of someone that can do nothing to you unless the Most High and the Son give him the authority to. Read uh, the book of St. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 27. What I tell you in darkness. See, what I tell you in secret, read. That speak ye in light. That truth, read. And what ye hear in the ear. Some people don't like to get understanding because you know why? They out there fighting us. Some people's in the truth fighting us. Read on. That preach ye upon the housetop. Preach this into the temple, the church, wherever we at, out there on the streets. Teach this truth, man. Raise the nation, the greatest peoples on the planet. Read on. 
And fear not them which kill the body. And fear not them that kills only the body. Read. But are not able to kill the soul. They're not able to kill the soul. Read on. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. See, that's what the problem is with our nation. Because Esau is giving them a gift. They fear him. What they fear? They fear him taking that paycheck away. They fear him taking that house away. You should give up everything in this world to serve the Most High and the Son. If you fear losing just uh, nothing, because guess what? You don't own nothing. Don't pay the taxes on that house. Guess what they do? They come put you out on the curb. Don't get your inspection stickers and insurance on that car. Guess what? You can't drive it. Don't pay your your bus trans, your bus fare. Guess what? You get put off and get a ticket, a citation. So don't, don't want for anything here. Give me Daniels 3 and 10. Let me show you. Men's of the most high. They would they gonna take on the spirit. Some of us we ain't got that. See, I know I'd be one. Hey, just send me on in there, man. If I'm gonna be fried chicken, I'm gonna be fried chicken. You know, some of us we gonna buy down. You know, and, they, and and the thing is, man, once you show Esau that that fear not in you, he'll start respecting you. But when you smell fear in you, guess what an animal does when he smell fear in you? He know you're weak. Read up the book of Daniel, chapter 3, verse 10. Thou, O king, has made a decree. He made a law. Read. That every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbook, psaltery, and bassoon, and all kinds of music, shall fall down and worship the golden image. They shall fall down and worship the golden image. They shall, just like they do here in America, when you hear the, the national anthem, they put their hand on their shoulder and they, and they salute the flag. That's why so many people have so many issues about a flag that have oppressed us. That's why them brothers lose their jobs, man, when they stand up. And, you know, and I tell you, Colin Kaepernick, man, I think he's just an Edomite, man. You know, now Nike don't gave him all kind of endorsements. You don't get rewarded, man, for standing up against this kingdom, man. You get a bullet in the brains. So when you seeing these guys, man, don't don't look up to them. So read on up. And whoso falleth not down and worshiping. See, when they feel like you're not pledging allegiance to that flag, read. Then he should be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. See, back then you were thrown into a fiery furnace, a fiery furnace. Now you're cast into that penitentiary. Or you 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 job discriminated on against. And let me tell you something. I think the Edomite ain't, con ain't in communication, man. They know who we are. They, the word get around. It's just that Israel ain't ready to unite and stand up as a nation. We don't know. There are certain Jews who thou hast sent over the affairs of the province of Babylon. See, you got this, right? It's the same thing. Read on. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Read on. These men, O king. Have not regarded thee. See, when you got when you set them up, you think about the black carcasses. You think about some of these Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson. If they don't do what they say, man, they get that money, man. That's how they feel. Read on. They serve not thy gods. They serve not thy gods. Read. Nor worship the golden image. Nor worship the golden image. Read. Which thou hast set up. Read on. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true? Is it true y'all turning your back on me after all that I have done for you? Think about it. Let me tell you something. LeBron James is the biggest name on the market. And I, and I know y'all seen that video. If you hadn't seen that video, the one I released about when you go to Cleveland, when you go to Chicago, why is they worshiping these men and they're not doing nothing for their community? Instead of him buying a school, he should have just bought the whole community over there and had it fixed up for those people and had them go through things. And if he was in his truth, I'd have them get they have the day. On the seventh day, they're going to be here. If you're not following what the Most High say, then you go back out there to that world. 
See, that's what they don't want to hear. They want to be able to have that BBB, Bill Barbecue and Blunt, all day, every day. Following the Most High, but he's not going to do that because they'll take his wealth from him. Read on. O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? So when you understand when they in power like that, there is, there is consequence. Look at Bill Cosby. Look at a lot of the entertainers that spoke out. I'm not going to say Prince, I uh, might uh, you know, someone that really, have you just really ever seen anyone stand up and speak against them? No. Well, name me one that spoke up against the killing of the black man by the police. And I won. Name me one that speak up about the condition that our people are in. I won. Name me one speak up uh, and try to come together and, and take their money and create jobs for our people. I won. But they'll talk about war done, buying houses for females. That's a gift, man. Guess what they want to do? That could, and guess who's backing him? Esau. Guess why? Because he want to keep the women in power to control the man. To make the man weaker. Read on. Now, if ye be ready at if ye be ready that at what time ye hear the sound of the corn, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? See, they, I'm going to tell you something. And Esau knowing this. Who is that God? Because they feel like it's not the most high is not, and the sun's not coming back here to, to redeem us out of this horrible condition. But we are. As you see the nation, as you see how we're waking up, the most high continue to bless us even in our captivity. We have found rest in him, not in this nation. If you change your life, you'll start to see things go good for you. But if you still want to be at McDonald's, at McKellar's, I mean, eating at these, how are you going to take your enemy down when you continue finding the, the oppression that is going on? How? A lot of y'all go in the corner store and buy one bottle of water. It's $2 when you go buy a case of water. Let's just show you how our mind, though, we don't think. We too, let me tell you something. We moving too fast. You need to slow your mind down. And start seeing what's in front of you. Some of you dealing with your husband. Some of you dealing with your wife. Some of us not in the right spirit. Slow down. Get counseling. Talk. Think. Try to come to some conclusion. Of how to make it in the society. Because I'm telling you. It's going to get worse over here man. And all you out there that's faking. It's going to come back and bite you. Read on. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. Read. If it be so, our God, whom we serve. See, when you're serving your God, you're not worried about nothing here, man. I'm not worried about nothing. They're going to come in, they're going to come in. They're going to come in, they're going to they catch a few slugs, though. That's just how I see it. So, don't worry about it, man. Y'all going to be here in the news. Yep, they took out 10 of them. I want y'all be proud for what I did. They come in there tripping. But I'm going to go down swinging instead of them going down, bowing down like a coward. Read on. Our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace. See, anything that they throw at us, he's able to deliver us. Read on. And he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. See, we're not worried about it, man. When your mind is right and your mind is on your God and on, on what you need to be doing, see, you still got your mind. Your mind still caught up in, in, in the world. <coughs> worrying about your bills. Worrying about this. Worry, man, don't focus on nothing but the most high in the sun. Read on. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king. That we will not serve thy gods. No matter what they bring, man, we're not gonna serve your gods. I mean, I'm gonna tell you something. They're gonna infiltrate, they probably got an Israelite camp set up for some of y'all right now. To to, to beguile your mind, man, to make you think and, and teach against this word. 
a lot of Israelites are weak, looking for weak leaders, man, so they can continue in their, in their madness. They don't want nobody dealing with them because they got very feminine spirit, and the women's got very wicked spirit. I'm just telling you this until you understand we are at war. How can you be at war with your own neighbor over nothing? We'll cover that, but read on. Nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Read on. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full with fury. You think, uh, I'm going to tell you something, Donald Trump ain't running nothing. Them fake Jews, they, they pissed off because they know I'd be on the channels. I'd be on YouTube. They'd be live teaching. I'm going in their chat room, cutting them up. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to kick you out of here if you keep it up. I'm just putting scriptures down. You know, is that bothering you? So I'm out here battling, man. I'm out here fighting every day, tooth and nail. Read on. And the form of his facade was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Well, his facial expression changed. You ever see an Edomite turn red? Read on. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was want to be heated. That's why you get that. I know a lot of y'all been in Christianity, they tell you the the, the lake of fire is gonna be seven times more, ain't it? A lot of the Christianity is garbage, man. Christianity is the Antichrist. So I know a lot of our people going to church on Sunday, man. I feel, you know, our next mission, man, I'm going to tell you this. We're going to start having a Sunday camp. We're going to start uh, pissing the churches off. We're going to start addressing the churches. Because I know y'all came over this way. Y'all passed 900 churches, didn't you? Y'all passed the neighborhood with nothing but churches. That's why you see the people destroyed. <clears throat> Read on. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to cast them into the burning, fiery furnace. Then, the, then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their other garments, and was cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Well, that fire was hot, just killed them. So they got killed just for being that close to it. Read on. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished. He was astonished. Read. And rose up in haste, and spake, and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose. <laughs> How many men did he see? Four men loose. He said he seen four up in there, man. Read on. Walking in the midst of the fire. And, and they have no hurt. They have no hurt. Read. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. They knew he was the Son of God there, man. So when y'all worried about things, you know, like they were giving me all them tickets just a year ago. I went, went in and beat every one of them. You know, Thing is, you just have to have faith, and and, and the same thing uh, for Captain and now. I think he had about two. I think they got him for assault in the wheelchair, man. <laughs> I'm like, man, this is crazy, man. <laughs> this is crazy. Back to Daniel 10 and 28. Uh, but Matthew 10 and 28. But never have no fear, man. You know, you think about all them Edomites that see us out there on YouTube. If they were going to do something, they would have been done something. They're not going to bust a great man. Read uh, the book of St. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 28. And fear not them which kill the body. And fear not them, man, that can kill the body. Read on. But are not able to kill the soul. Read. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Read on. Or not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And not two sparrows, two birds sold for a farthing. Romans coins, read. And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. See, and one of them shall fall on the ground without your father. But read on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Read that again, that last part. 
and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. See, they're not going to fall on the ground without the father, man. Give me Psalms 104. Psalms 104:27. The book of Psalms, chapter 104, verse 27. These wait all upon thee. See, these, they're ones that keep these commandments. They wait upon thee, read. That thou mayest give them their meat in due season. Give them their feeding in due seasons. Read on. That thou givest them, they gather. They, the ones that really truly follow in him, they gather. Read. Thou openest thy hand. They are filled with good. See, when the Most High is, is orchestrating everything, you feel with good. Read on. Thou hidest thy face. They are troubled. When, when the Most High, when the Most High hid his face, we went into captivity. Read. Thou takest away their breath. The commandments. Read. They die. And, they, and we die. Read. And return to their dust. Read on. Thou sendest forth thy spirit. See, thou sendest forth his spirit. Read. They are created. Read on. And thou renewest the face of the earth. Because when we and when we pushing this truth, we are changing the face of everything on this planet. Read on. The glory of the Lord shall endure forever. And forever. Read. The Lord shall rejoice in his work. See, he's seeing what's going on out here. He's rejoicing in his work. Read. He looketh on the earth and it trembles. See, when he looketh up on the earth, earthquakes and all kind of tornadoes come down here. Read. He touches the hills. He touches what? He touches the hills. He touches the hills. Read on. And they smoke. And they smoke, man. Just like when you understand when it's, it's hot out there. You see, you can't see it because your spiritual, your spiritual mind out there. Read on. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. He's, I will behold unto the Lord as long as I live. Read. I will sing praises to my God. While I have my being. Yet living, man. Why you yet got time? Read. My meditation of him shall be sweet. See, when you understanding you in the spirit, your meditation going to be sweet because your, your biggest worry is not going to worry you. If you're thinking about going to the penitentiary while you're worried, go down there and teach the word. You know what I'm saying? If you got to go to jail for a couple months, go in there and teach the word. See, be a thorn in these south side. Some of y'all too busy worrying about the wrong thing. It's only temporary. Read. I will be glad in the Lord. I will be glad in our power. Read. Let the sinners be consumed out of the earth. See, and let these sinners be destroyed out of this planet. Read. And let the wicked be no more. Read on. Bless thou the Lord, O my soul. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the power, man. The thing is, we have to be having a mind and be one with our God. A lot of y'all be fasting, be praying, and I pray that you start to really build on this truth. This truth is a lifestyle. It is not a fad. We're not going to go back to being Americans. Like, you know, we're not going to go back and practice none of the custom. We're practicing our custom. That's why you're seeing us making the moves we make. Back to Matthews 10 and 30. We're living the life of Israelites, and it's hard at times because a lot of times we haven't been taught nothing here. Only thing we've been taught here is how to destroy each other, how to keep each other on the bottom, crabs in a barrel. We haven't taught each other. This nation haven't taught us how to love each other. They teach us how to kill each other through their movies, through their media. They don't teach us, and then they teach us how to be a good nigga, man. Just bow down, man, to mouse and do what mouse will say. That's what the Uncle Tom's that got the money say. You got Esau got everything set up and the deck is stacked against you. It's 52 cards in the deck and you probably got one. And it's the Deuce of Club. And it, it's useless, basically. Read up the book of St. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 30. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. We know the very hairs on your head, they are all numbered. Some of us got very few hairs, but hey, you know, the number is small. <laughs> read on. Fear ye not, therefore. It say, fear ye not, therefore. Read on. Ye are of more value than many sparrows. You are of more valuable than the sparrows, man. That's the thing y'all have to understand. The Most High is not going to leave us here to deal with this. We don't have no army. We're seeing the army come together. We're not strong as a nation because some of us still divided. 
some of us still not understanding this is how it's going to be in the kingdom. If you're not getting it right here, you're not going to make it, man. Where we at? Verse what? 13. Let's go to Psalms 119 and 41. And the thing is, the only thing I'm here to do is to teach, man. That's what our nation don't like. Our nation, our nation like it the way that they want it. This ain't Burger King, man. They shut down to read up. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 41. Let thy mercies come also unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation according to thy word. Only this word, man, read. So shall I have were weak to answer him that reproaches me. That reproaches me. A lot of times y'all have been dealt with because of your minds, your situation. You're not handling things right. You don't want to come get counsel. When the most high dealing with you, you don't like it. You take it out on your brothers, your sisters. You don't care that the peoples are around you. You want to take advantage of it. It's, it's a lot of niggas in this troop. I tell y'all this. Read on. For I trust in thy word. Some people don't trust in the word. They still trust in themselves. They still trying to do things on their own, man. You're not going, what, what can you do, man? You just one soul out there fighting a war that you can't. It's all individuals out there. You go by, most people ain't got even got friends. They got associates. Read on. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth. Don't completely take, a lot of time. You see people walking backwards, man, because they, they're not applying this. Read. For I have hope in thy judgments. See, I have desire in thy judgments. Read on. So shall I keep thy law continually forever and ever. Some people don't want to do that. Only when I feel like it. Only when I think it's time. You should do it every day, man. Read on. For I will walk at liberty. You know, and a lot of people got their freedom. Read. For I for I seek thy precepts. Read on. I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings. He's, and we're going to declare this before kings, man. Read. And will not be ashamed. Read on. <clears throat> and I will delight myself in thy commandments, which I have loved. My hands also will I lift up unto thy commandments which I have loved, and I will meditate in thy statutes. Sometimes we don't understand how to meditate. When you got something going on, sit and think about it, man. Don't get on the phone and start calling people. Sit and meditate about it for, for an hour or two. Some things you can meditate on for a week. But don't, don't, let me tell you something. That pillow talk will kill a nation. That's why when you're doing this work, you want to make sure you're in the spirit. A lot of times, you try your best at 100% to stay in the spirit. A lot of times, information can, a lot of times people might think you're not, but you're always holding tight to what the most high gives you. His word. Walking in his word, man, knowing your brothers, not, you know, and I'm going to tell you something. I've been getting called from certain brothers this week. Brothers seem to be humble in themselves. And y'all will see in the near future what I'm talking about. I won't bring it to you now. But the thing is, a lot of times when you're dealing with brothers, brothers might take it personally or sisters too. But when they understand, you only here for the benefit of their good. And sometimes that's hard. Back to Matthew 10 and 33. You know, learning about the most high sword, he's coming here to kill. And a lot of people that judge and judge, especially out on the street, they were eating uh, with their Tupac song. And, you know, when the most high get here, he's slashing your neck off. He ain't got time to be sitting up holding court. You in court right now. Read uh, the book of St. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 32. Who's, <clears throat> whosoever therefore shall confess me before men. See, when you understanding, that's walking in faith, man. No matter what, you should always confess him before men. I know Peter had a problem with that at once, you know, but the Most High had told him what he was going to do. So, don't have that coward spirit. You should go down as a soldier. Always confessing him 
And the thing is, I tell you not to take it to your job, man. You're going to have a problem there. You know, just tell them I don't want to talk about it. Be like them. Because you get to cutting them, then they're going to tell you, I don't want to talk about it no more. Then they're going to run right in that office. So know where to pick your bottles. I mean, I be at Walmart and other places. I ain't saying nothing to nobody. If I see them on the street, that's 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 it. <laughs> Read on. Him will I confess also before my father, which is in heaven. See the most. See when the Howard shot gonna confess. Hey, they did what they were supposed to do. Some of us turn our back and put our tail between our legs and run. That's what a lot of men do. When it's time to step up and be a man, a lot of them will put their tail between their legs and show you that they're not a man. See, a lot of times we've been deceived in the world what a man is. A man provides for his family. Mm -hmm. See, the sex going to run short, short when the bills ain't getting paid. <laughs> uh, yeah, he got it going on, girl, but he can't pay a bill in here. <laughs> we got three evictions out the door. What can we do? Then y'all going to be sleeping out in the car and your anger going to be on towards that man. So it's not about that, man. It's about I have an understanding with your with your spouse and building and she understanding what y'all trying to do. And communication, I tell you, corrupt communication kills the body, but great communication, it 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 it, it makes things thrive. Give me first John two and twenty-two. A lot of times when I try to do things, I and a lot of times I want to give you stuff and the most high I say no, it's not. I have to I have to conform with then what is giving to me. Because sometimes you may not be ready. Read up. The book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 22. Who is a liar? But he that denies that Yahweh is Christ. He is Antichrist. Boy, you got a lot of grandmothers that's Antichrist, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, I need to write that scripture down and go give it to Granny. <laughs> and tell her Christ is a so-called black man and see what she say. Yeah, it doesn't matter, you know, Granny, you're an antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, you're an anti Dad, you're an antichrist. Read. They deny the Father and the Son. See, when they do that, they deny both. Hey, y'all get them silly fans on back there, but read on. Whosoever denies the Son, the same hath not the Father. See, when you deny the Son, you deny the Father too. Read. But he that acknowledges the Son hath the Father also. See, when they come to con concept, context, when they think about it, I'm going to tell you something for the black woman, having a black God is, is hell for her. So she can't be the who she was in that world. A witch. <laughs> see, when she can't be in control, see, when she see that, 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 that dark brown skin image, that's a problem for her. Guess what? She looking at you. <laughs> she go to trembling then. See, it's no two ways with it. It's like looking in the mirror. Read on up. Let that therefore abide in you. See, let that abide in you. If a lot of sisters can't take that. Read. Which ye have heard from the beginning. Read on. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the sun. And in the Father. Because it can be taken away, man. I've seen a lot of great brothers, man, that you thought, hey, they was all about the Father's business and the Son's business, but they wasn't. They was all about for them. When you're in this truth, you better be in it for the Most High and the Son. You're in here for a wife, wife in here for a husband. You're in here for vainglory. You know, you should understand. A lot of us, we ain't capable of making it out there in the world. A lot of we don't have that understanding. It's, it's a cruel world out there, man. Read on. And this is the promise that he has promised us, even eternal life. See, eternal life. Read on. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. Because you got someone that's in your ear all the time. Yeah, I just don't like that. And, you know, start coming and asking what's going on. Oh, you got brothers that do the same thing. And study coming and asking, and you'll get clarification. You can't get clarification by someone that don't know just like you. 
So always understand that. Read on. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you. And ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointed teaching you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie. And even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. Read on. And now, little children, <clears throat> abide in him. So if you are to say that you're in the truth, you ought to uh, keep the laws. You ought to keep the seventh day. When you start to see people's not doing their stuff, you start seeing them retracting. You'll find out that some people that was in here, they go back to doing what they were doing, smoking weed, hanging out with the riffraff, um, going to get their nails done on the seventh day. They don't have no respect. Read on. That when he shall appear, we may have confidence. See, a lot of them ain't going to have confidence. You, you call them on the phone, hey, girl, how's everything go? Girl, yes, I'm going to get back with you. See, they don't want to talk about it. Talk to you. That's how it is. When you're reaching out to them, they don't want to talk to you. Guess what? They're dealing with something within them own, their own self. Read. <clears throat> and not be ashamed before him and his coming. See, and they're going to be ashamed, man. Read on. If ye, if ye know that he is righteous, ye know that every righteous that every one that doeth righteousness is born of him. See, I'm going to show you this later on, man, that it's born of him. Uh, one thing you should know, that if you're going to make it, you already you already should know you are going to make it. It should already be in your mind. I'm not, I'm getting to the kingdom, man. Because guess what? I've lived like a second-class citizen here. I, the peoples have always treated my nation unfairly. They've always been, they have murdered my grandmother, my granddaddy, slaughtered my cousins, my, my kin folks. Why would you want to thrive in a place where only you can eat? Once we get to the kingdom, we all going to be able to eat. Matthew 10 and 34. And, and this is about unity. This is about the most high seeing us working as one. That's the joy that, that, that the Most High and the Son gets. Read up. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I have come to send peace on earth. See, the Most High is not. You know why it's not going to be no peace? Because y'all have already, they have already had their peace. Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, atheists. You can do what you want to here, man. Script club, church, uh, you name it, they do it. When you understand, they, they have, the, the wicked spirits have had their peace. They have had their glory. Read on. I come not to send peace, but a sword. That sword is the truth, man. That sword is the word of God. You ever see people get so bent out of shape when the word of God? How many of y'all told y'all? I mean, how many of y'all talked to y'all mama? Raise your hand. That's a few hands. Some of y'all scared to talk to mama. Mama be spitting that fire on that phone. Nigga, I wish you would, God. <laughs> How many of y'all mamas is taking heed? Shirley's taking heed? Wow. <laughs> That's my mom. She's saying, I guess. See, but the thing is, why trimmeth thy ways? See, I won't trim my ways to them. So when y'all trimming y'all ways, going by kissing mama on the cheek, taking her out to the store, putting that pork in your car, taking mama home, and mama in there frying up a good pork chop sandwich, you sitting in there. See, mama wouldn't see me. You better call Uber to go get your pork. <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth, man. See, when you do that with mama, when you call mama and mama don't want to take heed, you're not helping mama. Give me this first video, man. This is all the video. I'm going to just show y'all some things that are happening. Canada's largest city is recovering from a record-setting snowstorm. More than 26 centimeters of snow in Toronto. The most in a single day in more than 50 years. 
It's not just the snow. Large swaths of the country are reeling from frigid weather, even for Canada. The government has issued rare extreme cold warnings from Manitoba in the west all the way to the Atlantic coast. Temperatures that carry the risk of frostbite within minutes of exposure. That same blast of air is also descending on the United States this week. Padre, the weather is now... Y'all don't understand. As we out there pushing the word, the most high is out there sitting on the other sword on the planet. Why you think this weather is getting worse and worse? These hurricanes, tornadoes are getting worse and worse. In crowd seas, they having flooding. Um, I know Australia has been having 120 degree every day. These plagues and this stuff that's going on, y'all not really familiar with them. I, I sit up and I observe them. While we are here teaching the truth, the most high, that's why I say the earth is a healthy nation. See, because when you see what happened in Hawaii earlier, the volcanoes, when you're seeing this earth, it is it's getting ready to consume these nations that's not, that is destroying it. Taking all the minerals out the ground, man. They're, they're not here to uh, help this planet. Only the Israelites will. Go ahead and play it out. Play for at least nine deaths in the Midwest. As the cold pushes east, intense snowstorms cause whiteout conditions and many accidents, including this 27 vehicle pileup in Pennsylvania. These are some of the records that have been broken already. Grand Forks, North Dakota had its lowest wind chill ever, 75 below zero. Positive. In Parker, 75 below zero. Let me tell you something. I don't think they never seen nothing like that up there. Guess what? When it get down this way, are you prepared? If your electric is cut off, do you have generators in your house? Go ahead and play it up. It's cut in Minnesota. The actual temperature was a record 42 below. That is without the wind chill. And in Chicago, a record 23 below. More than 230 million people battling temperatures below freezing Wednesday. In the Midwest, Minneapolis saw its coldest morning since 1996, 60 degrees below zero with wind chill. That's pretty brutal. It's cold. It's so cold outside, the U.S. Postal Service, which almost never stops delivering, suspending service in 11 Midwestern states because of safety concerns. The deadly freeze also making for treacherous driving conditions. This 24-car pileup in Michigan sending at least eight to the hospital, according to fire officials. In Chicago, the polar vortex crippling planes, trains, and waterways, halting air travel at Chicago's O'Hare and Midway airports. Both with almost 60% of flights canceled Wednesday. The freezing temperatures forcing fires on the rails. Flames seen sprouting from train tracks after officials from Chicago's metro commuter rail system began setting the fires to keep the system moving. On the water, one Twitter user posted this video of a boat cutting through icy waters on the Chicago River. The frigid air mass moving east, extending its icy grip to cities like New York and Boston, both experiencing wind chills as cold as minus 10 to minus 20. Tonight, the death toll rising as the deep freeze moves east. What's happening here? On Interstate 81, north of Syracuse, vehicle after vehicle stranded after sliding off the road. Whiteout conditions from lake effect snow making travel impossible. Across the northeast, fires breaking out in the sub-zero windshield in New Jersey. I need a ten alarm monster inferno at this paper mill. The wind is not helping and, and the cold uh, is causing the fire to spread rapidly. The factory encased in ice. No one was hurt, but at least 13 people have died since its polar invasion began. They right there floods in Saudi Arabia. Hey, Father, that, that's why we go through these scriptures to get y'all and try to show y'all that while, we, while the nations here 
big grinning, going at each other. The most high saying they're doing the work. So when the job is completed, they're going to cut their necks off too. Go ahead and play the video. I don't want to be out there. Everybody can share my mind. It's all the nation. I'm not a hard time. I'm not a hard time. I'm not a hard time. That explode trap down highway, don't it? See, this stuff is going on around the world. News media won't put this on. You don't want nobody getting scared. have been issued in Tasmania's bushfire emergency with today's conditions considered the most dangerous yet. Power has been cut to hundreds of homes, roads have been closed, and residents are being urged to conserve water. Michelle Wisby has more. As you can probably see behind me, it is really smoky down here in southern Tasmania, and it has been for the last week now. Now, right now we are in Hewanville, around 40 minutes drive south of Hobart, and as you can see, these trucks are preparing for another busy day out on the fire ground. Now, today we are expecting hot, dry and windy conditions, with both winds being erratic and unpredictable, and just not helping the already bad fire situation. Here at the evacuation centre, there's hundreds Hundreds of people who have already fled these fires as they get closer and closer to communities. Now, the fire in the south here has already burnt through around 32,000 hectares of land. We know it's destroyed at least three properties and also impacted some tourism infrastructure here. But that's not the only fire burning across the state. We have huge fire fronts currently in the central highlands and up in the west. We have hundreds of firefighters on the ground here, as well as the skies just being filled with helicopters and planes as we rely oh, on interstate... Right. See the same thing going on across the country, across the world. It's going on over here in America too. That's why you see a lot of this you don't see on the news. You just see good things um, or fake news, which they give you. A lot of the news that they give you is fake. Just It's just to entertain your mind. Go to the apartment for um, 15 and 14. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. See, destruction is on this planet. See, that sword, you can, that sword comes in many devices, man. See, it say woe to the world, man. Because this, let me tell you something. A lot of the crops around here are being destroyed. A lot of the stuff that you see going on over there in Australia, Switzerland, France, the gas price in Zimbabwe, man, I, I could have just, it would just been too many videos. It just, it's just so much going on. Even in Zimbabwe, they ran in there and raided the, the grocery store. That's how desperate it is getting in some of these places. They have, they are going to any means to, to eat. See, that money ain't going to be worth nothing. It's, it's useless. The food you're going to be able to sell a pecan for about 20 bucks. I'm just telling you the truth. A bottle of water, you're going to probably see a bottle of water probably going $20 a bottle more. But our peoples are not, right now, they got their food stamps. Uh, they celebrate. You're going to smell plenty of barbecue meat out there, plenty of pork. Read on that. For the sword and their destruction draws nigh. See, that's another sword right there. It draws near, man. Read on. 
and one people shall stand up to shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men. There's going to be the sedition. This is going when people start rebelling against the governments, against their leaders. You're seeing it going on. You got over in France, they're called the yellow jackets. You got over in Zimbabwe, you got them running into these stores, looting these stores. They're going in there like a hundred strong. What what is good 10 employees gonna do? Get their school bashed in. When y'all think about this, man, when y'all look at Walmart, Walmart is one of the number one stores around here because they're poisoning everybody. When you start to see Kroger's, Aberson, and then you start to see a lot of stores disappear, folding stores. You're not gonna be a lot of us are not prepped. We don't have land, we don't have food, we can't grow, we're not we not prepping. Just in case, man. It's better to be prepared than not be prepared. So some of us we don't think like that because we we in our feelings, so we be emotional or we not thinking because our situation, we ain't got the Lamborghini in the big house. If that's the only way you think you can't be used by the most high, read on and invading one another. In these countries. That's what you're seeing. That's what you're seeing. That's why you're seeing Afghanistan the way it is. Syria the way it is. Iraq the way it is. They are destroying. I'm telling you something. It, it could be any minute before this place go chaos. We know. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Because they're going to unite, man. They're going to unite against their own government. And I'm going to tell you something. These governments are already putting things in places. Why do you think the police departments are, are like got military tactics gear now? They are prepping. Why do you think they make so many bullets? Who bullets? Did, where these bullets going? That's why you're talking about going out there with your 22 or your little tech nine. You ain't got a chance. You ain't got a pot to piss in, man. Y'all don't understand the monster that we're up against. That's why we're calling on our God. Read on. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. So you got it now where they're building walls all over the place. Not just here in Babylon. Everywhere. Because his country ain't got no food there. And even if he grow it, somebody gonna come and, and, and steal it. He ain't got no way to protect what he have. Read on. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. See, you got a lot of people out there with pride, man, because they, they don't, you tell them Walmart's going to close down, they don't hear that. Not Walmart. Read on. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. They're going to be coming in people's houses, man, and people are going to be afraid. You're going to have to guard every little snack that you got. Read on. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. See, when y'all understand Nobody's going to have pity soon, man. It's going to be chaos in these places. This ain't talking about concentration camps. I don't get into that garbage, man. Because let me tell you something. You got the warehouse, five million people, you got to feed them. So that's, 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 that's another some more garbage out there. If I ain't seen it in the scriptures, I don't, I don't go for it. Read on. But shall destroy their houses with the sword. They're going to destroy their houses with the sword. Whatever weapon they got, man, it's going to get, it's going to be crazy around here. You think the people are already afraid now. They're going to be much afraid. Read. And spoil their goods. And take all, whatever they have in their house, man. Read. Because of the lack of bread. Because what? Because of the lack of bread. It ain't going to be nothing around here to eat, man. And we warning our people. But they don't want to hear. Read. <clears throat> and for great tribulation. A lot of people are going to be having a lot of hard time. There ain't going to be medication around here. Good to stock up on what you need. At least have three or four months of supplies if you can. There is nothing. In, you think they ain't going to hit the pharmacy store at first? That's the first place they're going to get all the good drugs. So they can get they can keep their buzz on. Especially eat them, Mike. That's all they want. They ain't stuck no food. <laughs> they, can, they can do their drugs. Yeah, they high. They good. Ate them a uh, ate them a hydrocodone burger. 
Psalms 33 and 18. And I can tell you, you know, some of them go to the liquor stores and they can get to keep them a liquor state. If they so feel, man, so understand these things are going to happen. Read out the book of Psalms chapter 33, verse 18. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him. You know, upon them that hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in bad in what? In bad days. And you ain't on, you ain't got the most high on your side. How is y'all going? You going to see what's going to happen? I'm going to tell you something. Mama going to be calling you. I ain't got nothing to eat over here. <laughs> Mama, you should have taken heed to the word because I'm full. <laughs> Read on. Our soul waited for the Lord. Our uh, what? Our soul waited for the Lord. Our soul, our mind wait for the Lord, man. Read. He is our help and our shield. That's, that's your whole protection, man. Walk in the spirit. Be about the most high. Ezekiel 5 and 12. Always pray, man. No matter what you're going through. Me, I went to bed about what? Two. Got up about six. Sometimes that's how I operate. A lot of y'all, y'all getting y'all Z's in. Y'all ain't worried about nothing. We have to make sure the house is in order. We have to make sure things that we do. We prep it. Read up. Uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 5, verse 12. A third part of you shall die with pestilence. They're going to die from famine, hunger. They're going to die from diseases. Read. And, and with famine shall they be consumed in the midst of peace. And a third part shall fall by the sword round about. Now, a lot of them just going to be outright just murdered, man. Read on. Um, and I will scatter a third part into the winds. And I will draw out a sword after them. Say, man, that sword come in many different forms. So you better make sure you're on the right edge. You got the right edge of that sword. Because it cut deep in. Thus shall my anger be accomplished. See, the most high anger will be accomplished. Read on. And I will cause my fury to rest upon them. And I will be comforted. And they shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it in my zeal. Because they hear us out there teaching us. See, we the most high voice. They hear us now. Read. When I have accomplished my fury in them. And the most high going to punish them. A lot of them are going to starve out. Go over to Ezekiel 12 and 16. The thing is, tell mama now, man. Read up. The book of Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 16. But I will need a few men of them from the swamp, right? from the famine and from the pestilence. That they may declare all the abominations among the heathen, whether they come, and they shall know that I am the Lord. That's why they want third, man. Most high is not gonna deliver everybody, man. That's why it's very it's, you should take this very serious. This is a lifestyle. When we don't keep the commandments, when we acting as a menace inside the nation, the most high deal with you. I'm not going to call you. Matthew 10 and 35. I'm here just to warn. My job is to teach you what the Spirit puts on me to bring to you. Read up the book of St. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 35. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father. So a lot of people's in there, they want to stay home and they don't want to do nothing. It's going to be confliction. Somebody drunk the last juicy juice in the house. There's going to be props in there, man. The last, you know that juicy juice back in the day, man? There were plenty of fights over that juicy juice. I'm going to tell you, somebody may have got that last cookie up in the, in the cookie jar. So it's going to be problems in the house because guess what? The bills ain't going to get paid. Food is going to be shortage in there. Gas in the car. It's going to be problems. The most high is not paying, man. Read. And the daughter against her mother. And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. So even in the school, your own foes are going to be ones closer to you. It, it, it's crazy, but it's true. Go to Psalm 41 5. Psalm 41 5. A lot of y'all don't know. Oh, man, nah, that's, 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 that's Bob over there. That's Jesse. Jesse, cool as hell. Read that out. 
Psalms chapter 38, verse 5. My enemies speak evil of me. Hold on, what? My enemies speak evil of me. Some of y'all got friends that don't have nothing good to say about you. Read on. When shall he die? They like, man, this nigga need to go. Read. And his name perish. And his name blotted out. Read. And if he come to see me, he speaketh better. He speaketh lies. Read. His heart gathereth iniquity to it itself. Read on. When he goeth abroad, he telleth it. He telleth it. Read. All that all that hate me whisper together against me. See, y'all don't understand how, how these spirits work. Read. Against me do they devise my hurt. They devise the hurt. Read. An evil disease. Say they. Cleave it fast unto him. Man, they praying anything happen to you. You thinking this is the, your own family. Some of y'all dealt with this out there in that world. You probably don't know that they have. I wish he dropped dead, man. <laughs> Read on. Now that he lieth, he shall rise up no more. They want to make sure you rise up no more. Read. Hey, my own familiar friend. Hold up, my who? My own familiar friend. Somebody you talk to every day, read. In whom I trust. I told all my business to read. Which did eat of my bread. Came over and ate that sandwich last night, read. And lifted up his heel against hey, me. Hey, that's what's going to happen. Y'all don't, don't take it personally, man. But if they're not speaking God's word, they're not in the spirit, man. If they're not coming to you speaking righteously about your brothers and sisters, they're not in the spirit. If they come into you with that garbage, rebuke them, man. Give me that in Titus 2 and 15. See, some of y'all don't know how to swing a sword. See me? I do. Hey, brothers, I tell you. I'm just telling you, man. Knowing how to deal with people when they ain't got nothing good to say about their own family. Read out the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 15. These things speak. And exhort. And what? And exhort. Read. And rebuke with all authority. Nigga, you not in the spirit, man. A sister, you not in the spirit. Don't play with them, man. See, it's too much, it's too much love amongst the body. Uh, the nation. Everybody wanna love, love, love. You can't get you can't get your children together with love, can you? But I tell you what, a, a, a belt will get them in line, won't it? Read on. Let no man despise thee. Don't let no cause. What you care about how they feel about you? They're going to get you in the kingdom? Oh, I feel somebody don't like me, man. Hey, I ain't making it, man. Hey, shit. Back to Matthew 10 and 37. Understand, man, that sword swing all kind of ways. Just make sure you ain't the one getting your head cut off. Read up. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 37. He that loveth father or mother more than he is not worthy of me. And read on. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Because sometimes, let me tell you what this is going into. When you let someone not, you not keep the commandments because you love that person more than you love the power. You're not doing righteous in God eye because you love that person more than you love the power. Mm -hmm. See, once you set everything in order, you'll understand it can't be broken. But once it's broken, then you're going to love your, your chase, that rabbit that you, you think that loves you. Some of y'all don't know what spirits you're dealing with. Philippians 3 and 7. Hold on, Bishop. Go ahead. Let's put a little strength on there, man. Go to Luke 14, 26, verse 2. You know, y'all think it's a game when the Most High's playing, when the Most High's talking to us and speaking these things to us. Book of Luke 14, verse 26. The book of St. Luke, chapter 14, verse 26. Read. If any man come to me uh -huh. and hate not his father, and do what? And hate not his father, read. And mother, uh -huh. and wife, uh -huh. and children. You got to think about what he's saying right there. If your wife and your children, your mother, they're not keeping these all things to command them, if they're not in here too, if the Most High hates the sinner and the sin, guess what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to hate the sinner and the sin too. We're supposed to agree with the most high. So if you're not doing these things, guess what? You can trust the most of that. Now you're showing up and it's okay to be with the most because you have your grandma house on Christmas. Get it back. You treat it your way with that. You know what? And brother, all our sisters, really, and his own life also, and his work, and his own life also. You got to come out of the and show everybody else how to walk. Really? He cannot be my disciple. He's not worthy of him. He loves people that love him. He's looking at the most high. So 
consistent in your walk. Read up the book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 7. And this is going to expound on what I've just talked about. Read. But what things were gained to me? Whatever was gained to me, my Bentley, my Rolls Royce, my house, the, the status of my, my who I was. Read. Those I counted lost for your house. See, he counted all this stuff lost for the power, man. Read. Yeah. Doubtless. Doubtless. Read. And I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things. No, something. The loss of all things. We know. And do count them done, but done, that I may live Yahweh. Let me ask a question. Who knows what that word? Who don't know what that word down I mean? Raise your hand. Uh, raise your hand. I just, you know, it's not a trick question. Raise your hand. Who else don't know what dog means? It means do do. <laughs> he counted it. You know how y'all were. Oh, look at that girl. I almost stepped in it. <laughs> and so, back to Matthew 10 and 38. So, understand that sword. You know, we're going to expand on it more. Read on now. Look at the Matthew chapter 10, verse 38. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. See, he don't want to take up his cross. All the things that you got going on in this world, man, you got to put it behind you, man. Jump over to 11 and 28. Everything you got to, you got going on, put it behind you, man. Take up that cross, man, that yoke. Read on up. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 11, verse 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and all Got a lot of issues going on, man. A lot of people, dog, people's out there sick, man. They need this truth, but they don't want to come to the power. Because you know what? They're still fighting and resisting. And he's study punishing you. So how much how much punishment you need? He said he those that he loves, he chastises them, man. And they thinking it's a belt or something else, you know, but they don't understand. But those that love him will cease and dismiss with the garbage. Read on up, and I will give you rest. That's the you. How you gonna get rest, man? How you worried about everything, man? You like a pop, a, a, a robot up in the house somewhere. You ain't. You got too much stress on your chest to to take care of the business of the power. Read. Take my yoke upon you. He said, "Take my yoke upon you." Read and learn of me. No, keep continue down the road that you in. And learn of me. Continue to learn of the power. Read. For I am meek, 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 meek. Read and lowly in heart. Read on, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. That's the only way, man. You out here fighting a fight you can't win. Your spirit is trying to fight a fight you can't win. Put your problems on the power. And how you do that? Keep his commandments. You want to do everything else in this world, but do the right thing. Read. For my yoke is easy. This yoke is easy, man. He's going to surround you with the right people. He's going he gonna to build you up in the right mind. But see, some of people, they're too busy fighting. Read. And my burden is light. And it is light, man, because once you understand what he's doing for you, you'll change. You start seeing it yourself. Some people's eyes are still closed. Back to Matthew 10 and 39. St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 39. He that findeth his life. He that comes to this truth shall lose it. You're going to lose whatever you, you want. Hey, mama. Goodbye, mama. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Daddy, I love you, but hey, you wicked as hell, man. I seen how you treated mama. You one wicked old dude. You know, tell him the truth. See, some of y'all scared to tell daddy the truth. Tell daddy, I know you didn't come home back when I was in high school. See, I tell him the truth. You know, your children's too. Just kiss him and say goodbye. 
Some of y'all, that's hard. Let me tell you something. You get in my way, I'm going to cut your neck off right there at two for one. <laughs> I'm not going to play when he gives the order. <laughs> Yo, I got to get it on, man. Give me the crack up. <laughs> Keep going. Shall find it. See, when you lose this, once you come out of this world and you come into the truth, you don't find your life, man. This is a lifestyle. Read on. He that receiveth you, receiveth me. And let me tell you something. If you love your brother, you receive him too, or your sister. Read. And he that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. And you receive the power, the most high himself. Read on. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. Hey, this is a hard job, man, because Israel is sheep. <laughs> they don't even know they Israel. I'm a Gentile. I'm a Sam Day Adventist. I'm Jehovah Witness. I'm Christianity. I'm African American. I'm black. I can probably list a hundred things they say. I'm non-denominate. I'm a man. I'm a person. They say some of the crazy stuff. Read on. If he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man that shall receive a righteous man's reward. Kingdom. Read on. And whosoever shall give, shall, and whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water, only in the name of a disciple. Read on. Verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. We have to continue to hold on to what we do. We have to wake up the nation. I know it's hard sometimes, man. If we do a lot for our people, but we're not just go out there and feed them and, and, and do that kind of madness. That ain't gonna help a crackhead. Gonna get them charged up and go get high again. But a lot of people don't understand this, man. Give me wisdom of Solomon, five and twenty. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of our brothers and sisters. It's love, man. Let me tell you something. I go get this brother at the ghetto. He been ringing his head up, shot ten people, robbed two or three liquor stores. I bring him into to my home. He thinking he's not coming in there plotting on me. I'm like, come down with the hammer. So you got to get him right. You got to come at him first. Because if you don't, guess what they can think? Oh, this is a soft thing. Then you look up, he come in and tea in one night. He told me be in here by eight. Then the next the next weekend, he come in at 12, and you ain't say nothing. So they just keep pushing it. If you don't come at him, I'm the first. They're going to keep pushing it. That's why I tell you, standing on your principles. Read up. Book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 20. His severe wrath shall be sharpened for a sword. Read on. And the world shall fight with him against the unwise. Read. Then shall the right, then shall the right aiming thunder, thunderbolt Go abroad, and from the clouds, as from a as from a well drawn boat, shall they fly to the mark. They go, whatever they gonna hit, they gonna hit. That's why I keep trying to tell y'all. I see a lot going on at these stadiums. Stay out of them, man. It's a lot of things are already in plan. Stay away. And I'm telling a lot of people how to go on vacation. Okay, be careful where you go. Just your warning. Oh, what are you doing with your, with your children? Well, you can chill and do things for your nation. Right now, we're in the nation building time. I don't think nobody got time to be in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Giving all that money to their slave master. You're going to still be a second class citizen in Hawaii. Well, you know what? <clears throat> and hailstones full of grass shall, shall be cast as out of a stone boat. And the water of the sea shall rage against them, and the floods shall cool and drown them. That's what y'all was seeing in that video. It's more to this stuff than what I'm saying. It's a lot more to what's going on. You see what's going on up there in the north, up there, 75 below in certain cities. Never heard of. You walking outside instantly, frostbites. Really? Yay. A mighty wind shall stand up against them. Tornadoes, man. Let me tell you something. That, that's these all kind of swords. Your God is taking care of business. You should be taking care of your business. Get yourself right spiritually. 
help this movement, not hinder it because your spirit has been flexed by some that you have no understanding when you share seek counsel to build on what you have. You can't build a house with quicksand. It's going to fall, man. Guarantee. We don't. And like a storm shall blow you away. It's going to blow your relationship away. I don't you want to wait. Read. Thus the iniquity shall lay, shall lay waste the whole earth. The, the iniquity is the sin. Read. And ill dealing shall overthrow the thrones of the mighty. Ill dealings, man. Witchcraft. Sorcery. It's going to overthrow the thrones of these kingdoms, man. They all going to fall. Understand that. A lot of people don't understand what's going on with all the stuff that's going on with this weather. It's the most high. It ain't heart. Heart ain't controlling nothing. That's why you see so I've been watching other videos on YouTube. I'm looking at the sky. I see a lot of y'all looking at the people. I'm looking at the sky. I'm saying, man, chemtrails everywhere. They got this stuff going on everywhere. I'm trying to. Why are you making so much rain here? We're not even in the rainy season. Well, what, what month we in? February? Is, is it been cold here? Have y'all seen any snow here? This week, the temperature is going to be back up in the 70s. See, they have to keep pumping them chemtrails. Why do you think the paint chipped off your cars out there? That's why you see somebody. I seen some organic food. It was some apples. I went with my wife. I said, okay. I said, organic. I looked at the label. The number four. See, people don't even know about the numbers on the food. See, they don't have no knowledge. Hebrews 4 and 12. Our people have no knowledge of what's going on, but when you try to give them some, oh, man, they, they Egyptology, Buddhist, uh, you name it, they got a degree in it. They got a degree, a degree in how to be a dumb dumb. We know not. Is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword. Hey, we got the right end of this sword, man. Read. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Asunder, man, separate, man. A lot of this truth we're bringing our nation to the truth. A lot of people's watching today, man, they're watching and getting fulfilled with the, with the truth. A lot of them, they don't have no understanding. They read, but then once they watch class, they come in, they get the right fulfillment. And of the joints and marrow, and is a discerning of the thoughts and intents of the heart. It makes it that discerning makes a difference in your way you think, man. How you operate in the spirit. You can people have an understanding of the Bible, but they don't want to do this in here. See, it's hard for some people. It's hard to see something go in your life that you love. I'm gonna tell you something. If you want the power. He'll fulfill all your needs. Some of us are afraid to let go of some things. I can let go of everything. Girl. I'll be up under the bridge when y'all come. What you doing, man? Read the Bible. Wait on the Lord to get here. There's nothing going to hold me back from the kingdom, man. I'm going to fight. Isaiah 49 and 1. I'm going to fight to get to that kingdom, man. And that's the way you should be thinking. Because sometimes your own enemy is in your own household. That's who's going to hold you back. Because they're not happy inside. When they're not happy, the house is not happy. When the house is not happy, everyone is sick. See, let me show you some. Read this, uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 1. Listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken, ye people, from far. The Lord hath called me from the womb, from the bowels of my mother. Hath he made mention of my name? Read on. And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. Oh, they hate that word, boy. He made the mouth like a sharp sword. Some of you come and you see, you don't want to even say nothing. He said, no, keep on. Because <laughs> you're afraid. You're afraid you're going to say something, man. Hey, I tell you what. To get better, I will take whatever it, whatever it takes. Read. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me. It made me a polished shaft. Made me a polished shaft, man. Read. In his quiver has he hid me. See, because a lot of times the other nations, how do you think you're still here today, man? 
you could have been one victim out there. A lot of you got a lot of friends that's gone. Mm -hmm. See, the most high protected you, man. The most high kept you from what you needed to go through. Some of us had to go through what we had to, but he protected us no matter what you was going through. Read on. And he <laughs> and said unto me, thou art my servant. See, he knew when, he, when you came here who you were. Read. O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. See, we glorified him. You see us, some of us in here, man, we labor in this, man. Some of us so intense in here, we put everything in here. You're supposed to. Read. Then, then I said, I have labored in vain. Hold up. Read on. I have spent my strength for naught and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with the Lord and my work is with God. Read. And now, said the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant. See, because all them things you're going through, your labor, and some people don't want to do that. And your strength for not, and your work. See, some of you quit. It's a lot of quitters in Israel. It's a lot of quitters, soft men. That, that's showing, let me tell you something, you're showing the most high who you are. It's going to be a lot of married couples going to the, to the kingdom single. I can guarantee you that. But if they don't get right, they're going to let that mate hold them back. So you better know who you're serving. That idol in your house or the most high and his son. Read on. To bring Jacob again to him. See, bring Jacob again to him. That's our job, man. When people's not understanding what this work is about, they lose focus. Read. Though Israel be not gathered. See, we're not gathered right now with the other kingdom, with the northern kingdom. Read. Yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be my strength. That's your strength, man. What you Is your wife or your husband your strength? See, some people got the wrong strength, and they, they strength weak as cotton candy. Your strength should be the power in everything you do. Labor for the Most High and His Son. And he will labor for you. Hebrews 13 and 7. The thing is, some of us, we, we can't, you know. I, I, I used to say when I was at this other school, I said, man, what's going to happen when they see the most high come in here and cut that dude's neck off? <laughs> what the body going to do? They're going to be shivering and shaking. I'm going to be like, what's next? I'm here to serve the power. I ain't here to serve no flesh. Read on, huh? The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 7. Remember them which have the rule over you. Read on. Who have spoken unto you the word of God. Read. Whose faith follow. And who what? Whose faith follow. Some people don't understand. When they, they don't see a man, they see a nigga. So they can't see a spiritual man moving in the spirit of the power. Like Paul, Peter, our forefathers, Jeremiah. Michael, Isaiah, Moses, Noah. So they used to these effeminate men, soft. It's hard, man. You thinking the most high gonna set up men that you can just push over, run through? No. Read. Considering the end of their conversation. Always considering their conversation, man. This dude here ain't no change. You understand this. This is a walk, man. You have to be the same way. See, a lot of times when people's not getting, they're they not right, there's some holding them back. And the Most High is allowing that. Jeremiah 14, for Jeremiah 4 and 1. A lot of times it's the Most High allowing that because you're, you're not strong enough. Sister can't be strong enough if she letting a man hold out, out of the truth. Well, my husband say, you know, we shouldn't be in the school. Your husband going to get your neck snapped, your kids neck snapped. <laughs> He's going to snap every neck in there. Read up. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 1. If thou wilt return, O Israel, said the Lord, return unto me. And if thou wilt put away thine abominations out of my sight, then shalt thou not remove. That shall not be removed, man. You're, that you won't be taken away. You're going to make it. Some people don't like to put the abominations. Not my husband, not my wife, not my children, not my big mama. 
Ephesians 4 and 22. The thing is, I'm going to tell you something. You're supposed to move. You, in this, and when you're walking in the spirit, you're supposed to be able to move mountains, man. Anything that's up, governing over you, you're supposed to get it out your way. Read up the book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22. That ye put off concerning the former conversation. The old man. See, a lot of people still got that old spirit on them. That old Negro spirit. That old slave spirit in the truth. A lot of people still have it. Read. Which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. See, it's corrupt, man. That's why you got Negroes out there talking about they can smoke weed, man. You got sisters out there with she been in the truth two years and got ten husbands already, man. You got the same with the brothers. Been in the truth for a year. He got four wives already. And ain't taking care of none of them. They're not going to walk in the spirit, man. They don't understand there's a price to pay. Read. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You got to renew the spirit of your mind, man. Every corrupt thought you got. And you got to understand where this is coming from. You have to go and analyze it. And see what's got you confused. And deal with that confusion. Read. And that ye put on the new man. See, when you put on the new man, you're like the, the forefathers. You're like the former prophets, the disciples, man. You're going to walk like they walk. And you're going to talk like they talk. Read. Which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Read on. Wherefore, putting away lying, speaking every man truth with his neighbor. When you're dealing with your neighbor, you tell him the truth. Hey, hey, Cap, I mean, I, I'm going to tell him the truth, man. I might shake a little bit, but I'm going to tell him the truth. He's a pretty big dude. Huh? They're pissed on me. <laughs> I was just playing. But I'm going to tell him the truth. He know it. I'll tell you something I told him one time. Well, just pick up the mic and tell me what I told you. He probably like, this little nigga. <laughs> he just walked up and kept it honest with you. I was dealing with things while I was teaching. And he just walked up and said, Cap, get your hands on. Straight up and down. No blink, no nothing. Get your hands on. Now, I could have looked at it like, like he said I could have looked at it. Yeah. But I did it because... We under the authority of the Most High. He gonna set you in the place and plant you where you need to be. So when he plants you somewhere with somebody who's strong doing the work, not just doing it, but showing you the work, keeping the commandments, you need to listen. And I went home and that's what I did. My whole family walked through that door the next Sabbath day. And then tell them how things has been going since then. It ain't going good because he's teaching me to keep the order. So guess what? When I was dealing with my wife not being in the truth, now my wife's in the truth. Not only that, she's been a big, big, strong backbone for me now. That's right. Because she's walking in this truth with me. My children have come through the door. They started to get the understanding. And they started to walk in the truth. And as we all come into this thing, everything just got better for us. Period. Everything God started lining it up. Because now y'all doing what I'm telling y'all to do. And not what the world telling y'all to do. That's right. And that's how you should understand. It wasn't a personal thing. I just seen something that needed to be taken care of, and I went to it. That's how you should do your brother or sister. Some of us, we scared to even tell our mate this. Hey, y'all get that arrow, man? I got the heat on, man. Yeah. Read on. For we are members one of another. See, when y'all understand... We are members one towards the other. We're here to help each other. Read. Be ye angry. Be ye. Sometimes you get angry, man, but read. And, and sin not. When you get angry, you don't supposed to sin. Read. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. No matter what you're going through, you're supposed to still stay in contact with your brother, sister, your wife, or whoever you're dealing with. Read on. Neither give place to the devil. See, sometimes we'll let somebody get in our ear. Read. Let him... That stole steal no more. Read on. But rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that need it. So when you operating in the spirit, you're learning how to operate in, 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 in the way of this world. And you got something to give to those that need. Because we do it in here. Somebody laboring a need, they and I see them in the spirit, they walking and they doing as the most high say we got for. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Give me Michael 7 and 5 right quick. Michael 7 and 5. 
See, no evil communication shall be coming out your mouth. You got it? Micah chapter 7, verse 5. Trust ye not in your friends. See, a lot of us, we put out our trust in friends, man. Some of the people that we know that's not spiritually right. Read. Put ye not confidence in your God. Don't, don't get that gossip, the latest news. Read on. Keep the door of thy mouth from her and thy in thy bosom. Always telling them what the nation is, what, what's going on, and that's something that they don't need to know. Some things the wife don't need to know. It's not her business. See, that's the problem. Some people can't say that to their wife. They're too afraid of them. Or their husband. You know, certain things you got to keep in order. Back to Ephesians 4 and where we at? 29. Book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. That's a sword, people. Read. That which is good to the use of edifying. Say, when you doing something that's used to good and edifying, you know the brothers and sisters in the spirit. Read. That it may minister grace unto the heavens. See, it minister grace unto the heavens. Read on. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Because if you grieve that spirit, man, he's going to take it from you. Read on. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. All malice, man. Read on. And be ye kind one to another. Forgiving one another, even as God, for your homicide's sake, has forgiven you. Golly, somebody said a word, and we ready to kill. But you don't done so much dirt, and he don't forgave you. You can't turn around and forgive your brother or sister over oh, nothing. I'm a crime man right here. Somebody come find it. That's how big your problem be. You can't find it. It's a waste of time, wasting your time. Some things you have to look over people, man, because they coming out. When they come in them doors, they sick, man. We got to be the possible for We got to be the one to build them up. Because they are right, they are needing us. Back to Jeremiah 4 and 2. I'm just trying to show you the way. He's not coming to send us coming to send peace on earth. He's coming to send us toward division. And it's going to be a lot of things that people are not going to like, man. But once we get everything solidified, it makes everything easy. Read up. And thou shalt swear, the Lord, the Lord liveth in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness. And the nation shall bless themselves in him, and in him shall they grow. A lot of times people say the word nations, and they get to thinking this is talking about everybody. No. Give me uh, Galatians 3 and 8. Let's break it down right quick. He's not coming back here for everybody, man. He's only coming back here for the elect. Read that out. Galatians chapter 3, verse 8. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen see, through faith. See, they're thinking this is talking about the other nation. This is talking about the lost. Because guess what? Randy is a heathen right now. Our people out there in the heathen state of mind, they want to be, guess what? Like the heathens. Read on. Preach before the gospel unto Abraham. Read on. Say, in thee shall all nations be blessed. All nations shall be blessed. Give me Ezekiel 20 and 31. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 20, verse 31. For when ye offer your gifts, when ye make your sons to pass through the fire, ye pollute yourselves with all your idols. So this understanding is this is talking about Israel. Jump up to verse 30 right quick. Verse 30. Wherefore, say unto the house of Israel. So it's letting us know who it's speaking to. Thus saith the Lord God. Bring on. Are ye polluted after the matter of your fathers and commit ye more after their abominations? Read. For when ye offer your gifts, when ye make your sons to pass through the fire, ye pollute yourselves with all your idols, even unto this day. And I sh and shall I be inquired of by you, O house of Israel, as I will, said the Lord God. I will not be inquired of it, 
Somebody sleepy, they don't know nothing. They thinking uh, Samuel Kojir is the power. So this is really speaking to the people that's in the truth. Read. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Read on. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. So when you sow into the flesh and not to the spirit, you will continue reaping that corruption in your life. When you change to this truth, then you know you're walking in the light because things are starting to change. Sometimes you have to lose some things to gain some things. Read on. For he that sows to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life and the last. That's what you want to do, man. That's all you want to do in this walk. Back to Jeremiah 4 and 4. So when y'all understanding about the sword, it's about getting your spirit right too because. You don't want that end of the sword that can get that can pierce through the guts. You want to be the one giving that sword. I can to teach the nation. That's why you see, it's a lot of weak men in this because a lot of them are raised by mama, so it's hard for them to get themselves in order. Read up. Uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 4. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord. See, circumcise yourself to the Lord. Some people don't know how to circumcise themselves to the Lord. They're too busy letting others circumcise them. You have to examine yourself daily in this walk. Read. And take away the first kids of your heart. And take away the, 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 the madness of your mind, man. A lot of us still got Christianity in our head, man, and think we're supposed to operate in that spirit. Read on. Ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Read. Let my fury come forth like fire, and burn that none can quench. Because of the evil of your doing. Some people operate in the truth, man, and they don't understand it's still evil. They're thinking that what they're doing is 
right? Just let me tell you something. Everything you're doing is being recorded. So it's best that you get yourself in order. Be a man of the Lord, man. Make it to the kingdom. I'd hate to see anybody come in here or, or out there in other schools or whatever and not make it. Because many I'm going to say on that day, Lord, Lord, did I do many wonderful works in your name? They're going to say, I never knew you because guess what? They never kept the commandments. Read our Verse 5, declare ye in Judah, and publish in Jerusalem, and say, Lo ye the children of the land, cry, cry, gather together, and say, Assemble yourselves, and let us go into the defense city. Give me Jeremiah 5 and 20. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 20. Declare this in the house of Jacob, and publish it in Judah, and I'm saying, Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear and hear not. Read on. Fear ye not me. Hold up. When you're in the truth and you say what? Fear ye not me. Some people don't fear the power, man. That's why some of them still getting high. So they make doctrines to, to, to continue in their sin. That's why you got whoremongers in the truth. You got whores in the truth. Read that again. They do what they want to do, man. They don't fear the power. That's why they got killed. See, it's, it's not, it's, it's not going to be a, a percentage that gets in. They're going to kill them. Because when you're showing right there in your wall, read that again. Fear ye not me. You're showing them you don't fear him. Read, say it the Lord. Do ye not tremble at my presence? Oh, when the Bible's open, the word is coming out. But when you just in this true period, when you're around the men of the Most High, it's, it's, it's all in the kingdom. It's not here. You can't dial 911. Read. Which, which have placed the sand for the bounds of the sea by perpetual decree that it cannot pass it. And though the waves are going to toss themselves, yet can, yet can they not prevail. Though they war, yet can they not pass it, pass over it. Read on. But this people as a revolting and a rebellious heart. No matter how much the most I do for them, they still continue in the same spirit. Read on. They are revolting and gone. See, when you're thinking the most high come here to send peace, he come here to send that sword. It, the word hurts. It hurts, man. But why is it hurting? Because you're not right. Because if you're right, it ain't hurt. You just know somebody you're sitting by like, man, it hurts a bit. <laughs> <laughs> read on. Need to say they in their heart. See, read. Let us now fear the Lord our God. See, they don't say in their mind, man, what we should, what they should be doing. Read. They give it rain. They give it rain, man. Read. Both the former and the latter in his season and reserve it unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Everything you do depends on the power, man. See, when you start to depend on yourself, you're not, you're not operating in the same, the right spirit. Everything you do depends on the power. Because if we don't let it rain, then we die. No water to drink, no food to eat. Read. Your iniquities have turned away these things. See, when you're in sin, you always sin, you're going through things. You should have a pattern of good works. Most high say, wait, actions. He wants to see good works. Read. And your sins have been open. So when you in sin, a lot of a lot of the blessings that you would get, you don't get them. Guess why? Because you're a knucklehead, man. You you're a dumb dumb. All these blessings, but you still want to stay under the curse. Who want to stay under the curse? Raise the hand. See, you don't get them because I don't get a hand, but you know, who wants the blessing? See, see, you got to operate. Raise the hand, man. I see some men is not raised. Oh, now they ain't raised, man. You're not fooling me. I'm just telling you. Who wants that? Who don't want to be blessed? Because you continue in your sins, you're going to continue under the curse. And it's going to keep happening to you until you found somewhere bugged out. Talking about the new day is the new day. Jeremiah 4 and 6, man. <laughs>
back to Jeremiah. Read up uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 6. Set up the standards for Zion. Read. Retire. Gather. Read. Say not. Say not. Read. For I will bring evil from the north and a great destruction. So y'all don't understand in the most high is operating preparing ambush for this place. Look at Jeremiah 6 and 22. So stay in spirit, man. Because we don't know when it's coming. Esau ain't gonna give you an all special bulletin. Nukes are on their way. Get your spirit right. <laughs> Some of you won't even have your television on. Be somewhere on that phone causing problems. Read up. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, verse 22. Thus said the Lord, Behold, a people cometh from the wrong country, and a great nation shall be rise from the sides of the earth. Read on. They shall lay hold on bow and spear. Them nuclear missiles right there, man. Read. They are cruel. Boy, they destroy everything, boy. Read on. And have no mercy. Hey, you, you, you yeah, nobody that's caught up in that in 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 perimeter is going to drop dead, man. Read. Their voice roars like a sea. Boom. Read on. And they ride upon, and they ride upon horses. Very fast, man. You ain't got a chance to catch up. We, we, uh, we know we ain't got no nerve just to get nowhere. Read on. Set in array as men for war against thee, O daughter of Zion. This daughter of Zion, read. We have heard the fame thereof. Our hands wax feeble. Weak, man, read on. Anguish hath taken hold of us, and pain as of a woman in travail. Read on. Go not forth into the field, nor walk by the way, for the sword of the enemy and fear is on every side. See, the sword, see, it's keep talking about different swords throughout the Bible. That's what y'all should be gathering. Gather this information. Because when the most high send them, he's not going to hold back. And if your spirit ain't right, you're going to die, bro. Some of y'all going to be sitting right by you waiting. And you're going to be walking. You're going to turn right into flame. Read on. Oh, daughter of my people, gird thee with sackcloth, and willow thyself in ashes. Man, get your spirit right. Read on. Make thee mourn. As for an only son, most bitter lamentation. Read on. For the spoiler shall suddenly come upon us. You ain't gonna have no time, man. When that's when they, when it happens, you ain't got no time. So if you're not right with the Most High, it's not about getting yourself together later. The time is now. The time is now. So a lot of the things that we got going on out there in the nation, our people need to be getting themselves together, man. Because a lot of them are not going to make it. Back to Jeremiah 7, 4 and 7. We'll read this on out. The book of Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 7. The liar, the lion is come upon from his thicket, and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. Say the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way, man. Prepare yourself. Read. He is going forth from his place. To make thy land desolate. This this place is never coming back. Read. And thy city shall be laid waste. Read on. Without an inhabitant. Without even an inhabitant. No human being spirit. Read. For this, gird you with sackcloth. It say, gird you. Be afraid, man. With sackcloth and prayer. Read on. Lament and howl. And lament and howl. Pray out to the power. Read. For the fierce anger of the Lord is not turned back from us. If the fierce anger is not going to be turned back from you, man. Read. And it shall come to pass at that day, Read on. said the Lord, that the heart of the king shall perish. Donald Trump sure never going to drop dead, man. Both of them are going to drop dead, man. Read. And the heart of the princes and the priests shall be astonished. All these wicked peoples in power, they're going to be astonished, man. Read. And the prophet shall wonder. Then said I, I, ah, Lord God, surely thou hast greatly deceived this people. And Jerusalem. See, he has deceived, he has seduced them, the peoples of Jerusalem, the nation. Read, saying, <clears throat> Ye shall have peace. See, a lot of times, y'all get from the other nation, everything is good here. Read on. Whereas the sword reaches unto the soul, it'll reach unto the mind. Read, At that time shall it be said to this people and to Jerusalem, A dry man of the high places in the wilderness toward the God of thy people, do not, not to fail, nor to cleanse. John, even a full wind of the places shall come unto me. Now also will I give 
is sentenced against them. They got a sentence coming of judgment. Read, behold. He shall come up as clouds. He's going to come up as clouds. And his chariot shall be as a whirlwind. Read on. His horses are swifter than eagles. Man, you can't, they can't catch them, uh, them uh, identified UFOs. They call them out there. Read. Go to us and say destruction unto us. Read. For we are spoiled. All of them, man, that they got their mind right, they're going to get caught in the, in, the, in the crash. And read. O Jerusalem, O people, read. Watch thy heart from wickedness. Slice thy mind from wickedness. Read. That thou mayest be saved, that you may be saved. Read. How long shall thy vain thoughts lie within thee? How long shall your vain thoughts, your mind, be corrupt? And that's why we're here trying to help out, man. This world is going to come in many different directions, many different ways. So a lot of y'all probably thought the sword was just a new little missile. It's a lot of different forms of the most high sword. Be ye prepared, man. He's not coming here to send peace. But a sword, destruction. That's what that sword end up doing, man. It's either you're going to make it or you're not. It's your choice. Look what the Bible says. Uh, um, to you. The life of death. <laughs> Life so, it's your choice. It's your choice. What is it? Choose ye this day? We don't know what can happen tomorrow. So, I want you to go to bed tonight knowing that you're at peace. Shalom. Shalom.